Oh, that can't be good. So it always happens around this time of night. I'm sitting back, relaxing. Then the town decides that they just want to come and get me and... Oh! Uh, hey, gang. Sorry. Uh, Schlocktoberfest is getting... Scarier? With a review of Terror Eyes. It's an anthology film, folks. And it's about a woman named Eva. Or Ava, I can't remember. It, who is apparently... Uh, she works for a major studio whose the writers are on strike. So she's asked to try to come up with a brand new script for a brand new horror movie. So she gets herself and her boyfriend, her boyfriend Richard, and a couple of other couples to go on a little camping trip. And they all sit around the campfire, trying to trying to basically influence her to give her stories about. Uh, you know, how to take care of things. Uh, the first story is, of course, one called The Book of Life, where it's apparently this redneck couple living in a living in an apartment where, they're, where they read this book where it reads everything about their past, their present, and their future. Well, let's just say that it doesn't end well because um, the boyfriend winds up getting his face melted off. But turns out it was all just a dream. So that was pretty much the first story. Ava wakes up, goes back to nightmare land, has another nightmare, meets up with her friends. Her and Richard go on the camping trip. But Richard somehow, someway gets possessed by the devil. So Ava's given two more stories, one of them which is kind of a uh, horror movie version of Groundhog Day. And the last one about a woman who is caught in a sort of a uh, real life video game. Of course, this, this movie is done in 89, so you could probably pick, I don't know, old school Nintendo, maybe Atari or something like that, and winds up surviving it. And before the whole thing is over with, the other campers, campers are dead, Ava discovers that Richard is the devil, or the, possessed by the devil. Uh, Ava pretty much tells him to screw off and all this. Uh, the uh, campers that were killed off come back to life, they find Richard in the forest, and uh, Ava later on becomes a successful Hollywood writer, and she's just living it up in the lap of luxury and having fun while doing so. So, why did this movie suck? It's a low-budget, really bad anthology horror movie. The effects for the devil was not bad, the melting face effects were not bad, but ultimately, this was just a really all-around bad movie. I mean, when you start off with a dream within a dream within a dream, that gets really annoying. That just gets to the point where you're just like, I don't even care anymore. And you have the plot about the devil trying to help, help the poor woman out. You have these stories where it's like, nothing's really going anywhere and you pretty much know that it's 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 either not gonna end well or it's gonna end well but it's really lame anyway and yeah this movie was was really really bad although I will say this much the uh, the uh, the story where the woman is in a sort of a real-life video game that one was actually pretty decent very suspenseful but the other two were just why do they put these in here again? I mean, hey, I, I, I will admit, I mean, I didn't like Creepshow 3 that much, but I did like the professor's wife story. But in this one, you had a really had a couple of real sucky stories. Then you had one that was actually pretty decent, pretty good, and pretty enjoyable. So, if you ever watch this movie, if you want to, skip the first two, go to the third one. It's actually pretty good. Very well acted and very well done. But the first two suck. So there you guys have it, a review of Terror Eyes. <laughs> no more films, no more horror, what's the devil to do? I don't know, play PlayStation 4. No? Okay, Xbox, one of them. He's bound to find something to do. Schlocktoberfest will continue on until tomorrow when I will reveal my worst for last movie. So, 
until then, thank you guys so very, very much for watching. If you like my videos, feel free to subscribe. And as always, stay strong and rock on. I don't know what those people are doing outside, but they're just standing there with torches and just doing that annoying song over and over again. Oh, they just want to be part of the video. They want to be my backup singers. Nice job, guys. Hey, can you do Stairway to Heaven?